Hi, I'm Sergio with Arvig. Thanks for joining us on Tech Talk. Today's topic, we're going to be looking at some way to look at restaurant reviews. And actually, more than just restaurant reviews, you can use these same services to review other businesses. But one of the most important things I, and things I have trouble with when I want to go to a new restaurant is, am I going to like the food or not? So the internet can help us in that way. Let's look at some of the cool websites that can help us do that. OK, the first website I want to talk about is Yelp. Yelp is actually kind of considered one of the founders or early adopters in um, restaurant reviews and reviews for businesses in general on the web. Um, it's kind of exploded since then, but since Yelp is one of the first, we're going to talk about them first. What I did is I just searched for a restaurant here. We look for Mulligan's here near Purim here. Uh, that's where we're based out of. And Mulligan's restaurant came right up. And if we click on it, it's going to show us the different reviews that have been given for it and other pertinent information like their address and their phone number and sometimes their hours or their website if they have it. Now what's great about Yelp is anyone can write a review. So if there's not any reviews for it yet, you just click the write a review button and it's shared. Um, another great thing about Yelp is they were one of the first to have an app. So they have both an iPhone and an Android app if you uh, have those mobile devices. Other really basic things, you can send the review to your friends, bookmark it, send it to your mobile phone if you have one. Um, a lot of times they'll have pictures, they don't have any in this case, but pictures, so if you're looking for it. And of course, a map if you don't know um, where you're going. They, they'll bring up, the, they use Google Maps in this case to help you find the location. Some other basics about Yelp is that you can use a, a friend service. If you click Find Friends, you can use uh, your Facebook account or you can create a Yelp account to tie into that. And then all your friends that use Yelp, you can see where they've eaten. So you want to say, hey, where'd, uh, let's see what Joe liked. Joe and me have a lot of, in common with uh, food. You see restaurants he's gone to, and you can you know, go to those same restaurants and check them out. Of course, they have some other things like messaging and a chat service. Not quite as popular as other chat services, but if you really like to talk about reviews, then you can use those as well. The second website we're going to be talking about is Google. Google got into the review business shortly after they released their Google Maps. And it's as simple as typing in the restaurant name into Google. And of course, Mulligan's website comes up and a lot of other information. But if you look on the right-hand side of the page, you'll see that not only did they bring up a map of where Mulligan's is located, it also has the Google review link, their phone number and information, and some pictures that people have tagged with that information or other similar um, similar restaurants in the area maybe. So in this case, the Cactus came up, Brew Pub and Wine Bar, etc. Zorba is a very popular restaurant in the area. Let's check out the Google review first. And if we click on that, it'll bring up their map again, more information like their hours, and of course the review from some user that went there recently and when they reviewed it and what they gave it as a, an overall review. So he, this person gave it a three out of three, they must have really liked it. One new thing with Google that I like is all new reviews are required to use a real ID. And what that means is you can't just review it anonymously as easy anymore. You have to use something like a Google Plus account or your Google account tied into it so you can see there's some legitimacy on it. It can't just be some random person trying to, you know, maybe they had a bad experience and they want to write a bunch of bad reviews over and over. This tries to eliminate that. You can only write the one review. The last website I want to show you is called Urban Spoon. This is a review site that's only known um, for restaurant reviews. They don't really review other things. And you'll notice when I went to it, it automatically brought up Urban Spoon, Minnesota, which is where we're based out of. They have different, like Craigslist, if you're familiar with Craigslist, it uh, breaks it up into cities and areas. So you can see we got Detroit Lakes and Grand Rapids and Mankato and Moorhead, St. Cloud, all the kind of different neighborhoods or cities, and then of course the Twin Cities. They have a lot of the same features as um, the other two websites we talked about, but I do like quite a bit that they break it up into neighborhoods. Let's click on Detroit Lakes here, and they have 86 restaurants in the Detroit Lakes areas, and they rank it by percentage of how popular they are. So apparently the hotel showroom with Pizza Bistro got 91%. Um, it's kind of a feature similar to Rotten Tomatoes, the movie review site, in that the more people that rank it better, the higher it goes. So then it goes to Zorba's, which got 90%, and then down and down and down. That You can look at the top 10. When you click on the name, it shows you where to go, brings them up on the map, gives you the hours. One of my favorite websites for reviews and information on re uh, restaurants in your area. 
So those are just a few examples of some great uh, restaurant review websites and a place how you can find a place to eat next time you want to go out to eat. If you have some other sites out there, I know there's a ton of review sites out there now. It's very popular, very trendy on the internet now. Let us know on our Facebook page. Um, we'd love to hear where you're going. Also, if you want to find out more about Arvig, why don't you stop into one of our Arvig locations or check out Arvig.com, our great website's there. Or you can call us at 888-99-ARVIG.